Overseas politics now, a little-known political novice is tonight preparing to form a coalition government in Italy. But there are some concerns about the prospective premier's past. Here's senior foreign affairs correspondent Amy Kellogg. Italy's president has approved the appointment of this man as prime minister, attorney Giuseppe Conte, a total political outsider. I put myself forth to be the defense attorney for the Italian people. Now Conte has to put together a government which will need final approval by the Italian president and parliament. It will be Europe's first populist government, a coalition between the far-right league and the anti-establishment five-star movement, whose leaders chose this unlikely political novice to steer the ship. He is a self-made man. He is a tough person in our country. He fought for respect of the law and respect of moral rules. But Conte is already facing allegations of dishonesty. He claims to have perfected his legal studies at New York. York University. NYU officials said they have no record of study, but said he was granted permission to conduct research at the law library. Despite backtracking on earlier talk of ditching the euro, this new team has roiled the markets and raised concerns in the EU. Its program could be quite radical. Disdain for the euro, sending back hundreds of thousands of migrants and giving everyone a minimum basic income. The leader of Italy's far-right league, Matteo Salvini, says Europe is getting worked up over nothing. But he used his most famous term, perhaps borrowed, from President Trump. Obviously, we want a government, as we said in our campaigns, that will put the Italian national interest at the centre, respecting everyone and everything, but putting Italy at the centre. Italians first. The other thing the new team would like to do is drop sanctions against Russia. Italy, which has had more than 60 governments since World War II, has a certain admiration for strongman Vladimir Putin. Brett. Amy Kellogg in London. Amy, thank you.